this TA tech tip will guide you through the process to install the Ares G2 rectangular torsion fixture. First, ensure that the Ares G2 with the force convection oven is fully enabled, communicating with the TRIO software, and you have a complete rectangular torsion kit. Typical tests for this configuration are strain sweeps to determine the linear viscoelastic region, time sweeps to measure stability or time to cure, and temperature ramps or sweeps to determine thermal transitions, measure modulus, and collect TTS data for master curve generation. The torsion kit includes the lower clamp fixture, an upper clamp fixture, inserts for various sample thicknesses, and a torsion wrench. If the Ares G2 has been previously configured with upper and lower PRTs, remove them before attempting to install the torsion fixture. Cut the sample to 45 to 50 millimeters long. Measure the thickness and width of your polymer sample with a good set of digital calipers. Based on the sample thickness, choose and install the appropriate torsion insert with the correct number facing out for both the upper and lower fixtures. Before installing the torsion tools, go to the control panel and select the appropriate torque range, torque transducer, and normal force mode. These are typically FRT high range for the torque and spring mode for the normal force. Mount the lower fixture onto the motor mount. Mount the upper fixture onto the transducer shaft. Tear the torque signal and axial force signal using the LCD touchscreen. Now, bring the upper tool down to about one millimeter from the lower tool. Align the tools using the motor on-off switch on the lower touchpad and then choose zero gap from the touchscreen. Now we can load the polymer. Insert the sample into the lower clamp. Center the sample using the reference lines on the clamp and then tighten the sample in place. Be sure to align the upper and lower fixtures with the sample to release any pre-torque on the sample. Lower the upper stage and insert the top of the sample into the upper clamp. Center the sample into the upper clamp using the reference lines. Tighten the upper clamp with the lower clamp's motor off. Now tighten both clamps to the appropriate torque for your sample. A torque tightening guide is available in the TRIOS help. Using the control panel, choose axial force control and apply two newtons of axial force with a sensitivity window of 1.75 newtons in the tension direction. The torsion fixture is now installed. The sample is loaded and held under a tension force. You can now proceed with setting up your test procedures and equilibrating the temperature for your polymer application.